Hello YouTube, hello Twitch, we are on Twitch now, playing Captain Velvet Meteor, we will continue the uh, where we left, and the sound is too heavy now, so I will <laughs> make it a little bit less. Here we are, starting the game. So here the um, objectives are reach the level end and defeat, defeat the gold jumper as an optional uh, quest. So we have, yeah, we have optional quest and you need to uh, finish everything to have the 100% for the game. So you can do a level without um, doing those optional quests, but if you do it, you have the 100% uh, completion and achievement and those type of kind of stuff for people who like that. This assist is quite powerful actually. Breaking everything around. I really love when they do the power combo when you have those those manga cuts that comes because like the manga cut down is drawing by me in, in a kind of like a how to like like copy a little bit the manga style but the the one that is on top that's in the real manga and they they gave us the like the, each mangaka gave us an image that we could choose from to be able to to do that so it's really really we are, we were lucky but it's also really awesome when you when you trigger this power combo and and you see he be no Kafka doing his stuff like I will do it again. Yeah, the only thing is like the first time you do it is is quite long. You you have the time to see it, but the more you do it, the more it's quick because you don't want to bother the player each time. Neither, you know. Oh, you have the golden chomper there. I will have everything in one, one shot. Boom. Nice. Cool. So I did two things at the same time. Like I had uh, the achievement fi 500 monster killed and also just unlocked the um, optional uh, quests. <clears throat> for this level and it seems I also unlocked a music chest <clears throat> one thing in the stories of, of those manga that is in, important to know is that um, like for now we have some some story we try to make stories that doesn't go further than the first manga like the character state the character like where what he knows about his story is generally at the start of, of the first manga or like around the until the the middle like half of the of the first manga of each um of each manga like each how you say each license because uh, we don't want it to spoil and we want it also to for people who doesn't know to be able to just be interested by the characters and and then go see the manga you know or the anime <clears throat> so also if you read the first manga and you don't understand yeah but that's not the character I know it's complicated so anyways <clears throat> good job captain velvet we make a good team wait what a human face you are a human oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to tell you. I am a human like you. It just happened that I can turn into a human and we type monster at will. Whoa, really? That's amazing, Mr. Kafka. You are full of surprise, Ibino Kafka. Yeah, well, where I come from, it's supposed, it's supposed to be a secret. Only a few people knows about it. Too late. I already filled an entry in my da database of about you. What? 
No! Ishikawa is gonna kill me! So Ichikawa is, is I think is his boss in the manga. And you know it quite uh, quickly. I could be in big trouble if the public was to find out. I would be hunted just like another monsters. You said you are with the Defense Ford, right? Yeah, back in Tokyo, we defend people from the attacks of giant beasts. Giant beast? And you have giant robots to fight against them? Well, not really. Just guns and rifles and my monster train. Okay, Mr. Kafka, I just need some additional information to complete your entry. Wait! I told you to stop it with this database thing! It's supposed to be a secret! <laughs> and so, the mighty Captain Velvet Meteor stepped into the unknown. His eyes burning with the flame of courage, his blood filled with curiosity, his heart pumping with passion. JP? Hi, Captain. What are you doing? I'm narrating your adventure, Captain. This is part of my duty as a deep space adventure robot G+. I record them for the future generation of space travelers. Great. Make it extra epic then. Will do, Captain! Yeah, so JP, about JP. He's a character we created, but JP, Jump Plus, right? So the thing is like, this character is the, like the link between uh, the Jump Plus uh, license and, and my license, that is uh, Captain Velvet. And we did this kind of uh, Moomba robot uh, type. And if you look on top of, of his design, it's actually the logo of Jump Plus, but like knows only the people who knows, right? Let's continue. I want to go take this power. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, so you, you can take the power orbs with your with your guns, uh, actually. So if I want to collect those to be able to have the power combo, I can just like shoot at them. <laughs> You have also a, a little a little puzzle aspect in the game. Like for now, for example, I needed to shoot the the crystal from afar. Uh, those kind of little stuff makes, I think, the game really interesting. It's like you have a strategy, a little bit of puzzle, a lot of killing. It's like not hack and slash, but like kind of um, kill them all type of, of game. And I really think that we did a good job like showing the the speed and strength of superheroes and and uh, you know anime style of like they they just run through monsters to to kill them it's not easy on a, a like isometric game i feel we could we could do like better i'm sure like with the uh, camera move in 3D and whatever, but it's not 3D, like it's all 2D handmade uh, monsters and all that. So, you know, with what we had in terms of resource and in terms of right to use this IP, I think we did a really, really great job. Um, <laughs> without like, okay. Actually, actually, I was kind of uh, surprised how well the, the, the game uh, is going now with with the critics 
uh, a lot of people doesn't know about the game yet, but we have like 85 the rank 85 on Metacritic, I think, and uh, and Top Critic is like uh, Top Critic is not about notes, like it's not, but it's more like they have like um, weak, medium, heavy, whatever, legendary. I I don't remember, but like we are on heavy, so that means it's also like a, probably something like 80, 85 uh, kind of mark. So it's really really nice to have those returns now about this game okay here we come mid boss that's not the kaiju right that's not the big kaiju we are waiting for still a big monster though But you have a lot of little monsters, so I'm sure I can take some power orbs quite quickly. Yeah. And then just shoot a big, big combo in his face. Without... Wait. I love the music. Yeah, again, I will shut my mouth for some minutes. I try to, <clears throat> to to fight this monster without going in this violet place because I'm, I'm sure it will die directly. Almost here. You can see like monsters are actually hitting each other, they don't care. So for example the big one, when he he's doing his hit, he just like kills other ones. They are not really kind to each other. But that's good for us. Yeah. Actually, if you like the music, uh, the the like the OST is free. We just wanted to give it for free, so it's uh, available on Steam uh, on Captain Velvet Meteor uh, game. You have like the the free version. You can just like take it, download it, and uh, you will enjoy it. Fortunately. So JP, you're not joining the fight. I fight with data and knowledge, Mr. Kafka. And somebody needs to protect the spaceship. JP used the, Jap the Velvet Wonder system to scan the planet's surface and to give me directions. I also have to take care of the repairs. The crash left a, a few holes in the hull and our main chill is down. To tell you the truth, I would love to join you and your on your adventure. Whoa, JP, you're amazing. You can do so many things. No, 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 Mr. Kafka. I am only doing my duty as an adventure boat. I also need JP to locate energy suits that we can use to power the Velvet Wonder back up. Once my ship is repaired, we can all leave this planet and maybe understand what happened to us and what this place is. I see. That's one more good reason to help you both then. Speaking of energy source, the sensor are picking up a clear signal up ahead. Just continue to head to heat to head 
to head due north east. Oh, just to say, I'm a French speaker, okay? I don't have the French accent. I'm trying my best in English. Please be um, kind. Roger that. All the after beasts seems to be coming from this direction. We must be one. We we must be on the trail of the base monster you saw before. There are more and more of these strange eggs on our path. The base monster seemed to produce decaying matter and lay its after beast on it. So that's why the st stench of rot is getting stronger. You know, before I join. <laughs> okay. You know, before I joined the Defense Force, I work as a co monster cleaning company. Okay, look at the, look at this face. Look at this manga face. Okay, so that's official. Okay, this Kafka Hibino face is official. All, all the faces are official, but like, what we did with the with the, <laughs> what we did with the the um, profile of of all the characters is that we, we took all faces. I, I took all the faces that were okay. Uh, generally. All the, the the profile that were, were okay to use like that for emotion, I cut like that. And some, I just like mix the face with the body that was still. And we send that to the mangaka and the mangaka said, okay, uh, it's not on, in the manga directly, but that works for the game. And so this one, it's actually, the, his face is the face he does when he works as, as a monster cleaning company because little spoiler, but actually is really at the start of the manga. So that's what will make you actually read the manga probably but the guy i talked like hibino kafka is a 35 years old or so 30 years old guy who wanted to join the force the defense force at first and was not able and instead he worked as a cleaning company and that's a good concept i think because like when you have those those like you know those movies where you have kind of a big fight like even godzilla stuff like that big fight against big monsters and uh or pacific rim or stuff like that where you have the monster dying and imagine a world where you have that every i don't know like let's say every four months or every ten one month you have a monster coming up you kill him <laughs> and so what do you do with the remains right like you will not do compost and and, and make some some soil of, uh, out of it right it's huge you have that i think also in uh some of marvel's um it was spider-man the first spider-man with the vul vulture where uh, the vulture is actually working as a as a as a guy who takes uh, the the parts on the alien uh, st ships i think you have that also on uh maybe pacific rim 2 i don't know but the thing is like the concept is is really smart it's like okay you have months big monster dying cool but that's not the end <laughs> from now on we need to clean up all that and uh, and do something with it and so in this manga uh, kaiju number eight he's working on that and he say that it smell really bad and you can understand why like it's a corpse right and so he put like two <laughs> two stuff for the ear in the in the nose you know like to to work on that and it's really really funny i think it's the really the first pages of of the manga so just for that again read this manga it's really fun it's really nice especially the first one i i love in uh, like the introduction of stories in general so personally i love to to start a manga that is really nice and sometimes after it it starts to be long but that's personal right so here yeah that's why you know before i joined the defense for i work as a monster cleaning company Trust me, you'll never get used to this smell. <laughs> Do you think there is a link between the energy source we are searching for and this giant monster? Maybe it establishes its lair near it, near it, or maybe it's drawn to it. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Captain, Mr. Kafka, please be careful and stick together. Don't forget to try all your combo powers. Thank JP. Leave it to us. Oh, this little birdie. Look at that. I'm kind of proud of this asset, actually. But you, we use it not so only on this chapter. And that's a kaiju bird. Why a bird? Because the dog killed the bird. And so you have the remains of this killed kaiju bird. This level is actually quite difficult. 
for what I remember. Because you have a lot of monster popping. Yeah, and also, like, it's generally not a good thing to divide. You know, like, being together make you stronger. In this game is true as it is, it is true in any jump type of of anime. You are stronger with your friend, but it seems okay. Because I already played the game, I, uh, I've unlocked the chest here, and so I don't need to go up there anymore. Um, so that's good for me, but normally I would want to go there to take this chest. Mm. Yeah, whatever. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we return to our live broadcast on the battle. A swarm of mysterious enemies has infested the area. But Captain Velvet Meter is not alone. He is joined by the great monster man Hibin of Kafka. What fate weighs our two heroes? Death or even worse? JP? Hi, Captain! Forget about it. Let's just be on our way. But when did you start calling me the great monster man? Aye aye, Captain, and sorry, Mr. Kafka. I am programmed to make everything as epic as possible. Remember? You did that, Captain. You say, make it epic. Wait a second, it's really cold here. I would just like heat up a little bit the room. So yeah, we are in March in Japan, generally March is um, warm and everything, but nope, 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 like the 21 of, like 20 of March it was 25 degrees, like something like that, 20, between 20 and 25 degrees uh, Celsius, and 21 March we had snow like like real snow like not just like a little bit of snow and disappear we had snow so people who doesn't believe in the uh, global warms welcome the seasons are freaking out strange so now it's cold here um, and I don't like cold Ooh, sorry so let's continue No, I don't want you to do that. Okay, yeah. So when you go together, the the combo is automatic, but actually you can change it with X like that, and I forgot to do that. And so I did the combo that is less, actually less, uh, do, does less damage than normal attacks. So 
those eggs here. Um, we saw them before, but everything goes so quick that we didn't like. I will let one hatch just just for you to sh to see what it is. So the the eggs sees me, or like uh, feel that I'm around, and the next turn he would it will hatch, hatch, hatch. In a dog-like type of monster. Yeah. <laughs> And you will understand why I don't touch this crystal yet, because I know what's coming. Captain! Detecting unknown object falling from the space into your position. Stay alert! Whoa! What's that? Oh no, it's a bomb. You have 12 turns to leave this area before it explodes. Please, hurry up! Okay, so with the cool music. Okay, uh, so just before I let you enjoy the music and 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 everything, um, that's a type of level that comes in every chapter, and you have a number of turn uh, before to end the level or the bomb explode and kill everyone. And generally, we also add sub quests because yeah why not you know like you are stressed and let's put a, a little bit more of stress there and so now you will see the sub goal but i think i will kill those first and let's go for it Yes, so it's also just to, to say it's the first level that you encounter on that type, like a uh, stress type. So we were qu quite kind enough to not make it too uh, complicated. But after that, when you have other chapter, you start to have really complicated stuff with sub quest and all that. That's fun. Captain, do you copy? The layer is just a little bit further in the same direction. Roger that. Can you give me pointer out the enemy position? Of course, Captain. I can see movement northeast on the position and also... Oh, just a moment. Yes? It seems there's someone no knocking on the door. I'll be right back. Huh? Huh? Someone at the door of your spaceship? Well, yes? Sorry for that. Okay, I'm back. So, what's up? JP! Don't you dare what's up me? What's this thing about like knocking at the door of the Velvet Wonder? Oh, it was just a man alone and lost on this planet like us. I made him a, cu a cup of tea and he's quietly chilling at the deck right now. Did I did something wrong, Captain? Well, 
I guess not. Everybody's welcome. So you pretty much let anyone come on your spaceship? Well, if my adventure bots but say it's okay, it's, it usually is. At least JP serves a good tea and cookies. Yeah, and I guess it's a good thing to use your ship as a gathering point. Also, don't forget you can ask me anytime to teleport you back to the Velvet Wonder. You just need to go on the option menu and select the return to cheap icon. But be careful as it will reset the progress on your current level. Roger that, we'll be also expecting some warm tea and cookie when we visit. Aye aye! So let's do that, I mean, uh, wait, wait, let's finish that and then let's do that. Let's go to the spaceship to see who just arrived in the spaceship. But first, Captain! If my readings are correct, an energy source should be near your correct position. Roger that. We should soon be able to see it. I can feel the air getting warmer. The base monster must use the source of, to incubate its eggs and increase production of after beasts. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I always read. Okay. Why? Okay. Right? Okay. Let's go then. It's cleanup time. Just for fun, before to start, I will be able to start from here anyway. So let's just go back to the spaceship and see who came. Shoot. Ah. Oh no, shit. I've unlocked everything already, so it doesn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you can imagine. That's him. Norm normally you have nobody here. And just him. Who is he? You know. And he say, I'm just a normal traveler. But I think I almost finished the game, or oh, finished it, so it's not interesting for you. Yeah, I already unlocked everything. Spoiler. But you are here for that, right? I mean, if not, just buy the game and play it. Okay, let's do this. I will not let's skip that. Let's go. Yeah, so, so you have... Um, you have the mystery man coming in the in the spaceship really quick and you can talk to him but actually he's uh, so everybody knows that's from spy family right uh, he's a spy so he stays as like the unknown man who is like, oh no I'm just here lost in this planet and he does his last move um, at the end of the game so if you want to play the spy family chapter you kind of need to finish all the other chapters. So I have two possibilities here. I can... I can touch those crystals here and open those doors. Or not. I would prefer not, right? I would prefer to not need to... Um fight those big monsters if I can so I will not use the big combo and go with unique abilities <laughs> actually you have two achievements here uh, one for finishes finishing this level alive by opening all the door and the other one finishing this level without uh, opening any doors and both are quite complicated actually because if you use like, you know, if you use the, the power combo, like this combo, it will definitely, you can see it, like you have the, the marks on, on the crystals. So it's difficult because you want to use it, it's really fun. But if I use that, here it doesn't touch anything. Yeah, Kimochi. seems doable without opening any doors I mean it's less epic for sure because I'm more like a sneaky rat going in <laughs> in the level and killing all those eggs but at least I'm alive mm, yep 
if you kill the eggs before um I, I mean it's easier to kill the eggs before they hatch with the even with a really really weak attack when the dogs are are doing a lot of damage if they reach you so it's generally better to try to kill the the monster in the in the egg even if it's it's horrible when you think about that when you think about life birth and all that is horrible but they are fucking kaijus right sorry i'm not sure about what what i feel about that as you will see at the end of this um this episode actually even kaiju have feelings because it's only your dog Yay, we arrive at the boss level soon soon. Poor dog. Yes. Yeah, so I had the achievement in French of the the more um, secure pass, like I didn't open the door. So, so this is what I've been look we've been looking for. It looks like a crystal, and yet it feels extremely hot. Okay, JP, we got the energy source. I am teleporting it your way. Beep boop boop. Aye aye, Captain. Preparing to run complete al analysis of al alien alien matter. This is exciting! Just focus and keep a check if we can use it to power the Velvet Wonder. Aye aye, Captain. Whoa. Did you hear that? The base monster may really be close. If we don't take care of it, it's gonna get even worse. It will continue to produce eggs and rot. It might even attack the spaceship. Yeah, we cannot risk it. Are you ready? Of course I'm ready. A giant angry monster and a nest of alien creatures. It's good to have you with me, Hibino Kafka. Likewise, Captain. Yeah, let's face this monster head on! <laughs> he get pretty hyped up, right? Okay, well, you were right. It's a giant beast. Freaking giant kaiju dog, I told you. What's that? A dog or a dinosaur? I never saw that type of monster before. And looks like that there are still many after beasts. Please be extra careful. Based on my analysis, you won't damage this giant dog with solo attacks. Kafka, time to use your most powerful attack. Okay, no holding back then. So praise yourself. Activating Meteor Gun! Yeah, he does the vo Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does the sound of his gun with the voice. Because he's a kid, you know? 10 years old, you do that. My son do that as, at 5, you know? Like, activating Meteor Gun! Okay, so you start with the Kamehameha with your mouse, right? Um, no, I will not stay here. Thank you. Maybe go there. Yeah, just kill your own kind. See, they doesn't, they, do, they don't care. They create after beasts, but then they kill their own children. That's horrible. I hate that, but I love this game. So, most powerful attack, right? Go. And one life.
Oh shit. We start to have a lot of stuff happening in the same time. I didn't saw this uh, spike stuff there. Woohoo! Okay. Now we talk. Um He's doing the job for me. You just need to flee really far. <clears throat> I think it in this boss level, as long as, as you are not stuck between monsters and all that, it's quite easy. Now the question is, if I hit it now, normally I will not get the ray beam on my face right because i will kill it right should we risk it let's let's do that it's almost over wait what look he's shaking like crazy it's afraid Poor thing, he's crying. Mr. Kafka is right, Captain. My readings are showing a sudden decrease of hostility. I think it retreated to this place because it was worried or lost. Maybe it was forcefully brought to this planet all of a sudden. Just like us. Yeah, just like us. It's also trying to survive and adapt to this dangerous place. There's always something broken behind a mindless rage. Fear, sadness, loneliness, suffering. Guys, I'm sure it won't bother us anymore. You're right. We should leave it alone. It was great to fight alongside you, Kafka. Thank you, Captain. I'll meet you back on the spaceship. I want to keep looking for any other member of my platoon. Ah, sorry. I want to keep looking if any other member of my platoon are on this planet. Strange planet. Okay, well, we'll keep you informed if you, ours can show anything. I can't read anymore, I'm sorry, I'm tired. But it's emotional, so I will try my best. See you soon, Mr. Kafka. Welcome on board. Bye, guys. See you on the Velvet Wonder then. See you later, Kafka, and thank you. Oh, so yeah. Um, as I said, like the whole story in his mind was his dog was really aggressive, killed the bird. He was shook by by the fact that like Cap uh, Damian was shook by the fact that his dog, his dog he loves, was almost ready to attack him, and so he he kind of frees. And he, in his mind, he battles with Hibino Kafka to be able to, like, get strength to go walk toward his dog instead of just fleeing. And that's the result. He was able to do it. And they are both really kind of sad and, and afraid after the this shock, right? Like how a hug can heal anything, right? You know, Lu Lucien, I understand. This is a new country and a new house. Everything is different. New smells and new sounds. It must be difficult for an old dog like you. It sure is for me. But it's normal to be scared and worried. I was very angry at my mom and dad for deciding to move here without even asking me. At some point, I was so angry, I thought about running away. I didn't want to leave France. And my friends. In the end, I had no choice. Glad to see I'm not the only one struggling to adjust in the new life. We gotta help each other, right, Lucia? We should bury this poor little bird and try to relax. Yosh, 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 yasashina. 
Yeah, we can pet the dog. Cute little dog. Lucien seemed calm now. He's just exhausted from the trip. Good night, buddy. Yosh, yosh. <laughs> so I already told that uh, in the last episode, but like, why the name Lucien, right? Uh, in English, it doesn't work, but like, in French, Lucien is a normal name. And in Japanese, if you say Lucien, the, the pronunciation is like Lucien. Lucien, kind of Lucien. And if you say Lucien and not Sien, like in French, it means uh, le chien. In French, it's the dog. So the name Lucien is actually just the dog. If you s say it in Jap like with the Japanese accent in French. Yeah, it's complicated. But for me, it was really funny. <laughs> okay, Mr. Big Tree, let's check if you are fitting, if you are a fitting spot for a secret base. What's that? Bamboos. I wish Lucien was a panda. Whoa, there's so many flowers. I am is just gonna love this garden. Me too, actually. This garden is huge and, and beautiful and I, I don't see many Japanese family having a house as huge as this one, really. The moss is squishy. I hope there aren't monster eggs hidden in it. <laughs> Probably some, like some, some <laughs> insect stuff and uh, and larvas. Let's go in the house. So from that point, um, my mother, not my mother, but like the mother of Lucy, uh, of Damien, gave. Um, now it's all done because, as I said, like I have to save all unlocked. But um, you you receive tasks, uh, and you have eat your surprise breakfast. I think I will do that. Eat the surprise breakfast. So let's start with the kitchen. And here in the kitchen, you have the episode of Princess. And probably that I will stop the playthrough here, just after the princess, like the, the last time we start from the, the story, and then we, and on the la next time I will start again as an introduction. That's kind of like uh, the last twist to be able to want more, right? food on the table in the morning what's that you can see three balls one with rice natto and an egg the other one is some vegetables and miso soup with mushrooms and tofu actually it's really good but the smell of the natto and the vision of this like the the vegetables are in the kind of like squishy sauce that you can find in Chinese food as well and so everything seems a little bit splashy and squishy and and gunyu gunyu as we say in Japanese and so for him the nightmare began Ugh. All right, that's a mission for Captain Velvet Meteor. So, Captain Velvet Meteor and Princess for this from this time for Top Princess versus Natox. So you understand the joke here, Nato Natox, right? And we will stop here. So next time I will start this episode. Do a little let's play. I hope to be a little bit more on time for um, English speaker to be able to join. Um, you will have the, this episode on YouTube as well with some cuts, uh, some correction if necessary. And that's it. Thank you. See you soon. Bye bye.